What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Duran, and we're here to talk more Celtics basketball as the Boston Celtics walk away with the 121 109 win over the Atlanta Hawks. And I, this was a really good game. This is a really good game. And I had already said it. I, I knew we were going to dog walk Atlanta today. I knew we were going to beat the dog shit out of them because of the simple fact that they needed 40 points from Trey Young to beat us without three fifths of our starters. You know, and this was just a very vindicated game for me. I feel vindicated. You know why? Because everyone right now wants to pile on. And I know we're playing bad. I know we are. But the narrative that people are trying to push out there is that we've taken a step back. You know, they don't, they're not good enough. And the honest answer is we just don't have our, we just don't have our players right now. It's not really about us being too inconsistent because we are a little bit inconsistent in my opinion. It's just the health is inconsistent, more or less. If anything, that is affecting what our team is, how our team is playing right now, and it's affecting the outcomes right now. When they told me Kimball Walker was not playing that second of that the second night of a back to back, and I knew we were playing Atlanta, and they said Daniel Tice was out, I was like, we we're gonna lose that game. I didn't have many expectations for us to win that. I said we're gonna lose that game, and we did. We lost that game in a close one. I think we were we were always down seven in the last game against Atlanta. In this game, we were it seemed like we were up fifteen the entire time. Like we completely dominated and let's go ahead and talk about Kimball Walker Kimball Walker looked good give credit where credit is due everybody was piling on including me but Kimball Walker came out here played his ass off 28 points five assists six ass I meant five rebounds six assists he was 10 of 16 from the field he is five of eight from the three-point line he had three steals he took a charge he had a block he was doing everything today. Kimball Walker looked like Charlotte Kimball Walker. He looked like Kimball Walker last year, the all-star Kimball Walker. And that's the player we're going to need him to be if we want to accomplish the things that we want to accomplish this year, in my opinion. And uh, it doesn't really, it also helps that Trey Young is literally the worst defender in the NBA. Like the worst defender. He wanted no parts in playing defense today. Tatum grilled him in pick and roll. And then Kemba Walker just did not see him today. It was horrendously, a, a, a horrendous performance for Mr. Trey Young on defense. He was horrible horrible i mean he just didn't fight over pick and rolls there was nothing that trey young could do with anybody on the boston celtics but on top of that you know trey young did give uh 31 points four rebounds 11 assists you know he had a pretty good game you know he played his hardest and this is the thing that um tristan thompson was talking about last game is everyone plays their hardest against us everyone even if we're 14 and 14 everyone plays their hardest the atlanta hawks came out here and got their ass drugged and you know what they did in the fourth quarter they put it all out there like this was the the nba finals like they played their heart out trey young played every bit of the fourth quarter they went out there and they didn't roll over give credit where credit is due but man it's very much annoying when teams are just they, they just have a target on our back they want to play us they want to win and it just comes with the territory when you've been to three of the last four Eastern Conference Finals. And let's continue to talk about more. Jalen Brown was solid. Not a quiet game, but Jalen Brown had a pretty good game on the defense. He had he, he played within the game. He played within the flow of the game. This is a, a classic Jalen Brown game where you know he sneaked he sneaks into the the, the the box score where he just does everything. Four rebounds, six assists, 17 points. He was six of twelve today from the field. He had a pretty good game. Everyone had a really good game today. I don't have much bad to say about this game. Let's continue. The big, the number, the, another big thing. The bigs, the bigs play great. Daniel Tice and uh, Tristan Thompson all have some sort of chemistry. They have some sort of chemistry. They have learned to play off each other. They look really good. If they continue to develop chemistry, of course, run with this big double big lineup. And if this double big lineup means that Rob Williams is getting more minutes, I'll take it. Rob Williams look fantastic. This was Rob Williams' best game since last season against the Spurs, where he looked completely dominant. This was his best game this season 12 points seven rebounds he was six of eight four box two seals and i mean rob williams is such a good player he can be he can become such a good player and i just can't wait to see his development but man rob williams he looked really good today he looked really good active everything he looked really good and then aaron Smith, i give him credit even though he had three points and four rebounds really solid defense really solid defense and i want to see him coming more off those pin downs he had one three-pointer today but it came off a pin down. it looks so beautiful how he came out he looked he looked he looked okay today he looked 
promising today. I'll give that another 20 minute game for him. I think he left the game early with an injury. We'll go ahead and see more about that in the post game, but hopefully he's okay. But man, he looked pretty promising today. Simi Ojale looked solid and it was just another good game. And it was another, oh my God, hold up. I did not see Pay Bridget had an over to, uh, today. It didn't seem that way, but an over. Oh goodness, O of seven, O of five from three point. I'm acting like I didn't see that. But uh, overall, a really good game. And also, remember this game. This is the game that the Boston Celtics finally figured out how to beat the 2-3 zone. I felt like Atlanta was trolling us by playing the 2-3 zone. They got back in this game seemingly through it. But this is the game that the Boston Celtics figured out how to beat the 2-3 zone. We've seen them beat some zone defenses. We've seen them do a pretty good job with zone defense here and there. But this is the first time I've seen them dominate the 2-3 zone. Completely dominated. At the end of the game, they controlled the game. When the when the Hawks cut it to like nine, and I think it was like five minutes left, Tristan Thompson and Daniel Tice took over the game. They dominated, they got to the middle, they found the bigs, they got underneath the rim. They figured out how to beat the zone. Remember this day. This is the day that the Boston Celtics figured out how to beat the 2-3 zone. And guys, this is just another, this is just another example of how good we can be. When we're playing in, in within the, when we're playing with chemistry, we're playing really hard with pace, with good defense. This shows you how good that this team really be. And we don't even have Marcus Smart. And right now, I'm telling you, we're going to go on a, a win streak right now because we don't have another uh, second night of a back-to-back, -back, I think, until le next week. And we only have one more of those. And th until then, watch them. They're going to go on a streak because they're going to have Kimball Walker back for, a, like, majority, all, all, mostly all these games. They're going to have Kimball Walker back for all these games. He's, not, he's only going to miss one more game because they only have one more second night of a back-to-back -back before we have the All-Star break. They're going to put together a bunch of wins right before before we get to this break watch i i promise you we're gonna get marcus smart back after the break and then we're gonna put this thing together just watch just watch i promise y'all just watch this was a good win though i'll say this about uh jason tatum by the way dominant that's all i gotta say about that jason tatum dominant i don't have to say much else about about that jason tatum looked completely dominant that's it i think i've covered all the bases today i think i really have um oh and by the way grant williams didn't play yikes grant williams didn't play javante green didn't, didn't play <laughs> those are two big yikes but uh yeah we'll move on to the we'll, we'll, we, we got another game coming up guys let me figure what oh, we got the pelican sunday that was it I'm, I'm interested to see how we handle zion williamson i am interested to see how we handle zion williamson you know the pelicans stink but um I, i'm interested to see in another sunday game remember to watch this game guys another sunday game brad stevens teams have not shown up for the past two sundays we have to show up for this game i want to see i'm very intrigued by this game as always guys I have nothing left for the video like comment and subscribe peace